<laughs> What's an Irish pub without a little fun? What up foodies? Welcome back to another episode of HJF. Today, I've got something truly special in store for you. I'm teaming up with Chef Vinny and Server Arias at Hagen O'Reilly's Irish Pub to serve up the most ultimate shepherd's pie. Get ready guys, I've got something that's never ever been made before. Not here, not by me. I don't know. I'm going in. Is this too big? This is definitely too small. Before we delve into this, let's talk about some fun facts. Hey Vinny, I'm literally just gonna read you guys the Wikipedia page. Shepherd's pie, cottage pie, is a savory dish of minced meat topped with mashed potato and baked. Some writers insist that a shepherd's pie should contain lamb and a cottage pie beef. So this is actually a giant cottage pie? Yeah. The first recipe published was in 1849. That's old as hell, man. They actually made it because they had leftover meat from their roasts. I'm not even kidding, guys. I'm reading Wikipedia. Thank you, internet. What did the shepherd's pie say to the mashed potatoes? What? You're a mash made in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> really can't tell if that's a fake laugh. <laughs> hey everybody, I hope you're as excited as I am because my brand new hashtag French Fry Club collection is finally here. Let's take a look. Check out this all over print. Crop tops, this shirts, this sweaters. Look at the hat. And the mug. Either you're cooking up a storm in the kitchen, going through the drive-thru, French fries perfect thing to represent. There's something here for all food lovers. Carnivore, vegan, we all eat fries. It's easy to join the club. So if you're ready to be a part of it, go to shophealthyjunkfood.com or check out the shelf that's on YouTube. I actually was able to link it all. Finally, my shop is available on YouTube. And when you're rocking the merch, don't forget to tag at healthyjunkfood and hashtag french fry fan club. I can't wait to see how you guys pick the outfits together. Maybe it'll be like this. It looks really good, I know. Our book is also available for pre-sale. HJF presents fast food hacks to save you money. We wrote it together. Highly recommend. Thank you guys for your support. So much more to come. Back to Shepherd's Pie. Wearing this does make me hungry. Thanks for having me in your kitchen. Thank you for coming, Julia. Thank you so much. I figured you might make me a Shepherd's Pie. I got you. Right here we have our Shepherd's Mix. So you make this in house? Yes, we do. We make our ingredients fresh every day. We have ground beef, carrots and peas, and then we make a special sauce that we put in it for all the flavor. And then you got buttery mashed potatoes. Which are roasted garlic mashed potatoes, red skin potatoes. Yummy. That looks great. What's the technique? Yeah, you just kind of seal it with the mashed potatoes. You want to make it look as nice as you can. But we're, we're going to make some of this meat, right? Need to know exactly how you made it. Everybody likes cheese. Oh, yeah, cheesy. Really good comfort food. It's one of our best sellers. Come over here, fill it right up here, and get that crisp on it. Go into the salamander. You're heating the top like a broiler, right? Yeah. To get a golden brown on the top so it looks really nice, and then it's a little crisp, and then you also get the pull from the cheese. Everybody likes a little cheese pull. Hell yeah. I mean, it probably already has like, what, 750 calories in there? Yeah, something like that. It's not healthy. It's not, but it's good. Take it from me. Do you think that the giant one will fit in the salamander? Oh, we're gonna throw the giant one in the oven. That makes sense. How can we involve you? Oh yeah, he's our expert. We can have him plate it. Yeah. All right, so Aries is over here plating it. We got our oval plate, napkin. Chop, chop. Oh. Chop, chop, we're making pie. That's got to burn. Oh yeah, we're perfect now. That looks so good and cheesy. Perfect golden brown crust on top. Thank you, baby. Yes, sir. Delish. You get to eat on the job today. Good thing we're making it bigger. But I need to practice before we go big. Stay in sanitary. All right, chef, I'm here. I don't know what to do. You're gonna want to fill this up about three quarters of the way with beef. Oh, okay, that's how much. Like. <laughs> Don't do that. Three quarters full, got it. You're gonna wanna smooth that out. That's looking good, right? Yes, ma'am. Nice and smooth. I had no idea I loved this so much. I thought Shepherd's Pie had pie crust. No, ma'am. Why do they call this a pie? That's the only thing we didn't learn in our fun facts. And the mashed potatoes, go ahead and spread that out. It's okay if there's imperfections, because cheese hides that. It's looking perfect to me, though. I know, I thought you were gonna Gordon Ramsay me on this. Check it out, my first ever Shepherd's Pie. Don't forget the cheese. I actually almost did. How much do I put on here? Nice little layer, the more the better. Never go wrong with extra cheese. Especially if we want a lot of cheese pull, which I do. Is that too much? That's perfect. Two big handfuls of cheese on here. This is a heart attack waiting to happen. It's actually pretty healthy for you until you add all that cheese. Mm -hmm. 
What do you want to put on this side? Get in there, you little girl. You don't use oven mitts? These towels. Get in there with their hands. Feel the burn. I don't have calluses for a reason. If you can't take the heat, get out the kitchen, Julia. Fine. I'm grabbing it. My hand, will I grab it? Will I not? Play it safe. You should use a towel. Thank you, chef. I approve. And she's a cooking. Takes about five minutes, they say because there's a lot of cheese to melt. It's actually kind of cool the way that you guys make your shepherd's pie here because it's not really the traditional way. Normally it's just made with mashed potatoes, not cheese on top. The cheese on top that you guys do, I swear to God, makes it so next level awesome. Everything's better with cheese on top. Let me see, is it hot? I want to touch it. It's not that bad right now. I want to touch it. See guys? Ow. I did it. I can handle the heat, I'm staying in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, but for real, it's not done, let's put it back. Oh, but that is that is pretty hot. Ow! We use towels. This one looks way better than mine, Julia. It's perfect. I made a perfect thing. It's perfect. Peace and crispy. We're hiring, Julia. Yeah? I know my cheese pull life is strong. Can you get that back over here? <laughs> Let's try it. Gotta go down deep, get the meat and the mashed potatoes with the cheese mixed together. Oh man, this is yummy. I like the sauce on the meat. That secret sauce. Spicy and flavorful. Good. I know why people keep coming back for this. Best seller, obvious. Now let's make a big one. Let's just take this one quick break, have a chicken tender, and be back for giant shepherd's pie. Yeah. Oversized. We're gonna cook a huge one today and I'm super excited. You think that we can actually make it? It's gonna take some time, it's gonna be a process, but we got this. At Hagen's we get everything done. Like if there's a fail moment, then I'm gonna be like bringing back this scene. Nothing bad happens back here. Maybe we should just have a drink. Cheers to not messing up. <laughs> Cheers. Ooh. We're focusing. Let's make this thing. That's the meat. Easy way to make a girl happy. Basically a giant hot dog. Okay, but this is just beef for the filling, right? Yeah. Okay, let's cook it. 10 pound log. It comes encapsulated from our favorite guys at Cisco. Not sponsored. Okay, we got chef coming in with a knife. Oh yeah, that's a log of meat. Put your hands in there. I'm helping. <laughs> that's how you turn it on. Okay, so now that's gonna cook low and slow. This is gonna take a minute. We'll be back when it's browned. I was just talking to Vinny about how I just ate a bunch of hot dogs with Bartley. I convinced him we're both gonna try to get into the Nathan's hot dog eating competition. I think I could eat 10 in 20 minutes. It's done. There's a good amount of grease in there. We don't want that in the sauce. So there's a little bit of strategy of a strainage. Wow, when it cooks down, it doesn't look like as much. He works, I play. The next ingredients, carrots and peas. Wait, what's in the sauce? I can't tell you that as a secret. I was trying to get all the intel. All right, so now we got our filling. Whoa, man, that's a lot of meat. Lot of it's 40 pounds of meat right here, Julia. Holy crap. Size matters at Hagen's. How many cups is that in so far? It's about five cups. Hell yeah. I'm involved in helping. I got you. I say about like three more scoops should be good. Talk about the meat sweats. I got them. Maybe it's just because we're standing next to the oven. Yes. Here they are, the potatoes. I love that they keep the skin on though too. Let's pour this on. Get the mesh in there. This is beautiful. We're cheesing this up. All of the cheese, guys. Is she level? Should we grab a level? She's nice. This is extreme. This is gonna take some time to bake. Oh my gosh. She's going in the oven. Vinny. It messed up. We got this. We were so thinking we knew everything. At Hagen's we get everything done. It's so massive. Like if there's a fail moment, the oil bringing back the scene is coming out. Nothing bad happens back here. I believe in you, Chef Vinny. It's gonna work out. Just a little extra gravy on the top. It's just that sauce boiling up. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I thought we were gonna bake it in the oven. I thought that you knew exactly what we were doing from the beginning, Vinny. <laughs> Guys, it's not getting crispy enough. It's not boiling on the top. We figured it out. We got genius in the house pulling apart the salamander so we can fit that huge pot in there. And now it can actually cook. He's bringing it to me. I'm in the way. It's beautiful and it's grace. Oh my goodness, here it comes. Here we go, guys. Wow. 
I'm so glad we figured this one out. <laughs> Chef, get in here. You made something. <laughs> Great job. Another day's work. Giant, small, doesn't matter. It's not for size, it's what's in the heart. <laughs> Thank you, Julia.